today I'm going to be ranking every Vanderlyn gang member by how much Riz they have. 95% of my viewers are unsubscribed, so if you'd like to see more content like this, please subscribe. In last place, 24th place, I've got Bill Williamson. Bill has absolutely no Riz. Whenever you see him with like Kieran, where he's like, I don't know, kind of trying to Riz him up or do anything like that, he's weird with him. And there are a couple of times where it seems like Bill is bisexual. I don't really know if he's bisexual or gay, but like there's a couple of times where he's like, oh, Karen, do you like, or does Karen like me to Arthur? And just like, overall, this guy has no Riz. I've never seen him be comfortable around anyone. And he just probably smells really bad. <laughs> And also just no one wants to spend time around him. He's this really awkward guy in general. And I feel like there's just no way he has any Riz with both men, women, I was gonna say children, but th that would be weird in its own way. But I'm saying like, he doesn't have any Riz with either men or women. So I, I don't really see him being any higher than F tier. Like I've, I've never seen him with a woman any time in his life. And the only ones he's probably been with are the ones he's paid for. So Bill Williamson, definitely has F tier Riz, definitely in the negative Riz tier. Next up, I've got Micah Bell. While Micah Bell isn't like all that ugly, this guy literally is the flirting versus harassment meme all in one. This guy isn't flirting at all. He just harasses people and he harasses people and he harasses people. And I definitely wouldn't be surprised if Micah has done some worse things to women. Like there's one part where he claims he had sex with Jenny Kirk, which was like Len Lenny's girlfriend, not like his girlfriend, but like his crush in the gang before she died, like before the game started. But like, I, I just don't believe him. Like he either does things to rile people up or he just probably has sex with prostitutes or like actually does some worse things to people. So I just think in general, Micah is not a person that really has any riz. He just knows he's a man that probably has power over women in this time period. So that's what he's gonna do with women. Like he's just gonna do things that harass them. And you know, maybe one out of every 100 times it works for Micah and he actually gets laid without paying for someone or without violating someone in some other way. So I think Micah definitely has to go into F tier. This man has absolutely no riz. In 22nd place, I've got Leopold Strauss. I don't think Strauss has maybe ever talked to a woman in his life. I feel like he's just like, not an incel necessarily. I just feel like he just doesn't wanna to talk to a woman. And he just kind of focuses on his own thing, which is money. Like he's just like a money grubbing guy. And I think that's more of what it is. Like Strauss isn't really focused on women at all. And I don't think I've ever seen him with a woman. And it says like with his life, he's been with the Vanderlyn gang for like 20 years. So, I mean, I could definitely see him not talking to a woman in that time and just overall just just being this guy that has never had sex before. So I, I don't think he has any risks at all. You never see him in the game doing anything to talk to any of the women in the gang. And while well, that's kind of a W in his own way, maybe he's just asexual. But either way, this guy has absolutely no riz. In 21st place, I've got Molly O'Shea. While I think Molly O'Shea is a pretty good looking character, she doesn't have any Riz. Like there, there's no doubt that she doesn't have any Riz. She cannot keep Dutch locked down. While, I mean, of course, Dutch doesn't really like love any women. He's always onto a new one. Mary Beth after Molly, after Annabelle, after Grimshaw. So like there, there's always a new woman in Dutch's life, but she could just not keep this man locked down at all. And like, she saw what other things were happening and still locked it down, tried to lock it down with Dutch and just would not work at all. And just in general, she just has a very bad personality. So I just don't really think she has the Riz even as a pretty looking woman. So I think she has to go into D tier because she could just not lock my boy Dutch down. That's just a no Riz at all. In 20th place, I've got Kieran Duffy. Kieran clearly like doesn't have any Riz at all. He and Mary Beth are clearly locked in at least for a little bit. Like, I don't know about locked in, locked in like a relationship, but they were at least really close and she clearly cared a lot about him after his passing. So I think, I think he has to have no Riz. Like this guy had it locked in the bag, you know, free slam dunk layup, if you want to call it that. And he could just not pull it off. I mean, he's this awkward guy. And clearly Mary Beth was leading a lot of the courting of him. He was just kind of going in there and, you know, he was doing some things, but I think it was more Mary Beth doing it than him doing it just because he really was in an awkward situation and he had nothing going on, but he could not lock down the layup there. So I think he has to go into D tier. I could see some Riz coming from him for actually like getting Mary Beth in a way, but if you can't lock it down, I don't think there's any Riz there. So I'm going to put him in D tier. I could see him being a little bit higher, but if you can't lock it down, there's no Riz. In 
in 19th place about Lenny Summers. While people might be like, oh, Lenny's a pretty approachable guy and whatnot, this guy could not lock down Jenny Kirk. Everyone was saying like he was in love with Jenny Kirk, and clearly he didn't make enough moves on her because I feel like they would have been more of an item. He would have been a little bit more sad. You would have clearly seen it a little bit more on him, but it seemed like he just had a little crush on her and she didn't really have it back on him. So clearly there's no Riz there. And just in general, you know, I, I didn't see him interacting with any women like that. I just feel like there's, there's not really that much Riz coming from Lenny. And I think honestly, this guy might have died a virgin. You, you never see him doing anything with any of the women in the gang. And just in general, I feel like none of it really works out in Lenny's stance where he's with a woman or whatnot. So I think Lenny also has to go into D tier. He's just not really getting it done in any, like in any situation. So I think he has to go into D tier. In 18th place, I've got Mr. Simon Pearson. Pearson definitely has some riz if you count him in the epilogue where it says he has like two wives. He's like on his second wife and clearly they're not getting along that well and they were just like arguing all the time. But I mean, clearly he had enough riz to wife up someone. So I'd say like that kind of puts him a little bit forward. But just in the game, like Arthur makes fun of this guy. Where he's like, "There's Pearson's never talked to a woman that he hasn't paid for. And it's just like, yeah, uh, P Pearson clearly isn't like that much of a Rizzler in the actual game until the epilogue. So, I mean, I guess in the epilogue, you could say he's kind of a Rizzler, but the fact that Arthur makes fun of him when he and Sadie are talking about like the letter that they read of his, is just clearly to me has to put him in D tier in the no Riz tier. While the epilogue could put him a little higher, I'm just gonna say D tier. In 17th place, I've got Miss Grimshaw. Well, I wouldn't say Miss Grimshaw like has no Riz throughout the entire game. I just think during the actual game, she doesn't really have that much Riz. Like, her life, you know, she was risen up Dutch when she was young and pretty looking, but when she got old, Dutch kicked her out of the club. Either way though, I feel like, you know, she's just not trying to do much to get a man. Like at this point, she kind of is the mother of all these people in the gang and that's kind of her main thing. She doesn't want to riz anyone, so she doesn't have to riz anyone. So I think that's more of her concern and I think that's why she doesn't really have that much riz. I think if she could put in the time and effort too, I think she could get some nice riz. I mean, you know, everyone in the Red Dead Redemption fan base is like, oh my God, Grimshaw is so hot, even though she's like hella old and all that. I, I think she could have Riz if she wanted to, but she doesn't want to. So I think she has to go into C tier. In 16th place, I've got John Marson. I, I think John like does have some Riz when he tries, but I feel like he just never tries. I mean, he already has Abigail and he always messes it up with Abigail, even in that. It's like when he tries, like when he wrote that letter to get Abigail back, there is some Riz with John, but I feel like he's just this angry guy most of the time. So he mostly pushes people away instead of like bringing them towards him. And I think he also like stumbled into getting Abigail where I'm just gonna assume that, yeah, they were all having Abigail. And then she just was, you know, nicer to John or whatever and she kind of fell in love with him and then he just put a baby in it and then that's how they kind of had their relationship so I feel like he really fell into like bagging a baddie so I, I can't really say that John has that much Riz and of course since he's married like he doesn't really need to have that much Riz so I think he has to go into C tier you could maybe put him a little bit higher just because he's married but I just think he kind of just stumbled into all the luck of everything and that's why he's actually in the spot he is instead of actually having Riz to Riz up Abigail. So I think he has to go into C tier. In 15th place, I've got Uncle. I think Uncle potentially could have some Riz, but I just don't think he has that much Riz in the game because he just doesn't try that much. Like similar to Miss Grimshaw and while he does Riz up Miss Grimshaw in this moment for like a little bit until he's like, oh, can I get some money? Like he's not ever trying to raise people up like he's just trying to do his thing make his money chill out and i mean you don't know anything about uncle's life before the gang so you can't really tell if he was the riz master <laughs> in his younger days you just know now he's not really doing that much riz and he's kind of just sitting around on his ass just like uncle normally does but i just think because of his like lumbago he's just a really really lazy guy i don't think he chases after women like that so i don't really think uncle has the riz like that so i'm gonna have to put him in c tier in 14th place i've got arthur morgan wow arthur is a very handsome guy i feel like he doesn't really have that much riz like he can talk to women really well and whatnot but he doesn't really like you know put any like sexual tension into that so i don't really think he has the riz in that way like he can talk to women well regularly and he can do all this but he doesn't ever seem to get what he wants like he did riz up mary lynn back in the day but he can't really do that in 
today's now and he can't really ever get rid of his gangster life and like move on to something else i feel like that's kind of what's holding him back from actually being good at riz or ever doing any riz things because he has these things he needs to deliver for his family the vanderlyn gang like he needs to be that for them first and not for other people and it's also like because he had a child and i i don't know if it was a wife before but like because he had a child and a wife before and then they died i think that's also holding him back from having a new life with someone else besides mary lynn and they don't want to give up each other's like lives on their own so i think arthur has to go into b tier he can riz when he wants and he is just a very very good looking man but there's a lot of things holding him back from actually you know rizzing and i don't really think he has like the greatest pickup lines and he doesn't really have that like sexual tension fun dynamic thrown into place he's just a really really nice guy that's really really handsome as well so i'm gonna put him in b tier in 13th place i've got jack marston jack marston is always surrounded by women if it's not abigail it's tilly and he's just absolutely the riz master no i'm actually joking but Jack does kind of have some riz just in general as like a little kid like as a little kid I feel like women are always like into little kids like not in that way but they're always like oh like how are you doing I feel like they're always like nice with little kids and I feel like Jack kind of has some riz in his own way being a little six year old and being like this kind of cute little kid so I, I don't really think he has any actual riz but I think he has to go in B tier just because he's always surrounded by the baddie Abigail Marston so I'm gonna put him in B tier. In 12th place, I've got Charles Smith. I think Charles like is a good looking guy. He's handsome and all that. But I think he, similar to Arthur, he doesn't really have that riz on him. He's just a really, really nice guy. And people seem to love him, but he's not like, you know, great with the ladies. Sometimes he is, you know, hitting it. Like again, the first time like you, you, Charles and Javier get into the fight at the bar in Valentine, he and Javier are with some women. And I feel like he probably does have some good luck with the women, but you can't really see it in game. And I just don't think Charles is the guy that's that focused on like rizzing people up like some of the other characters in the game are. So I don't really think he has like the most amazing riz, but just because he is a really nice guy and he is pretty handsome and like eventually he does go to Canada and he wants to start a life and all that. I think he has to go at least into B tier. In 11th place, I got Reverend Swanson. Reverend Swanson definitely has some riz. This guy literally got kicked out of being a clergyman because he was having too much sex and doing too many drugs. So there definitely is some riz coming off of my boy, Mr. Reverend Swanson. But I think during the time in the game, this guy was drunk every single time and he was way too drunk. And I just don't think he was spitting riz like that. But I think back in the day, this, this guy really had the chops. I mean, how do you have so much sex that you get kicked out of a clergyman? He got kicked out of his family, his wife left him. And he also had to leave the country or whatnot because he was having sex with someone else's wife. Either way though, this guy was pounding it back in the day. But I think now, there's not really that much Riz coming off of Swanson. He's kind of cleaned up his life and because he's becoming a clergyman himself, he can't really be doing that. So I think he has to go into B tier. Back in the day, he was absolutely one of the Riz masters in the entire game, but I feel like now he just doesn't really have it. But I mean, still, if you had it back in the day, you might still have it a little bit. So I think B tier is a perfect spot for him. In 10th place, I've got Hosea Matthews. Hosea definitely had it back in the day. This guy was pretty handsome for his age. And, you know, he literally had a wife while being an outlaw. And he had a wife like, basically in the gang. So, I mean, Arthur couldn't do it. Dutch really couldn't hold someone down for that long. So I think Hosea definitely had the Riz back in the day. But, you know, after his wife died, there's not really any place for him to go for the Riz. And clearly, he's not trying it out on anyone else. He's not trying it out on any 55-year-old women. So I think he definitely did have some Riz. I mean, he's always cracking some wise jokes. And he is like a very charismatic guy. But clearly, there's not that much Riz going on into his late years. Like, he doesn't really need to have it. He already had a wife, the love of his life. So I don't really think he needed to have any more Riz. And I think that's why it kind of stopped. But I still think he is you know does have the riz in his playbook maybe but i don't really think he's using it so i think he has to go into b tier in ninth place i've got abigail roberts well i don't think abigail is going out there and rizzing people up in like 1899 when she's basically married to john and she has a whole life with jack and whatnot she definitely was the riz master back in the day she was you know giving it out to anyone she's a prostitute but like i clearly was probably risen even in the day and Arthur was like a guy and he was like, oh, I should have married Abigail instead of, you know, trying to do what I did. And John's like a really lucky guy for marrying Abigail. So 
Abigail definitely did have the Riz, and you know, if she's Riz and Arthur, she could basically Riz anyone in the game. There's also Micah and his harassment of her. So clearly she was like Rizzing in that way. She's just like a very pretty woman. So I think in general, like she's a pretty woman and basically any like pretty woman that has, you know, a solid enough personality has to have some solid Riz just in that way, just because of how like men are the ones mostly approaching women in this time period. So I think she definitely has to go into A tier. In eighth place, I've got Tilly Jackson. Well, you might be saying, I don't see Tilly risen up anyone in the game. She literally got the Foreman brothers to like come after her and kidnap her and like try to do stuff to her in a weird way. And she had a whole husband after the game. He put two babies inside of her. So I feel like she clearly did have a lot of Riz in her own way. She's also just like a really nice girl and like a really sweet and quiet girl. So I feel like she also had her own silent Riz in that way. But I just think the fact that the Foreman brothers like kept coming after her and like wanted to like own her in a way clearly means she had to have some riz in that sense she also like did get approached by the foreman brothers like they were trying to do some weird stuff to her and that's why she killed his cousin so i think she clearly had to have some solid riz i don't know if it's riz if someone is like harassing you but i mean i'm gonna have to put her in a tier just because she did get two children pretty soon after the game ended so I feel like that has to be some solid Riz definitely a tier for Tilly Jackson though in seventh place about Sean McGuire Sean definitely has some Riz he's just a super loud outspoken guy and he's also just really funny guy like I feel like everything he does and says is always like pretty funny and just the fact that he rizzed up Karen when everyone else I mean kind of wanted her and she was just like this person that drank herself to death after Sean's death I feel like, you know, there was a little bit of love going on with them. And just in general, like, you know, he really had that powerful enchanting spell. So I think Sean definitely had the Riz. I mean, you can't really see it. He's not in the game that long. But I mean, he definitely like they did have sex in the game, clearly. So I think he has to go into A tier. He definitely has the Riz. We don't really get to see enough of that Riz. Sixth place, I've got Sadie Adler. I mean, clearly she has risen you up, especially I feel like she's risen up the player. She kind of has like that mean girl, but also a nice girl at the same time. And she just like rises up the player and I guess rises up Arthur in a way. But I feel like she rises more up of the players because she's like one of the best women in the game. So I think she does have some riz. I mean, of course she was married before and she's like a pretty young woman. She's probably like late 20s and it seemed like she and Jake were married for at least a solid long time before that. So, I mean, she was getting married really young. I mean, of course it was a lot more common back in those days to get married young, but like just the fact that she did get married young shows that she did have a little bit of Riz, you know, Jake was getting it coming to her. And just in general, I feel like she is, ha does have some solid Riz, even when she isn't like married during the rest of the game, she kind of goes off doing her own thing. That's why I can't put her in S tier. But I just feel like the fact that all these like men that were playing the game or like men and women fell in love with her i feel like that shows that she has she, you know that silent riz she wasn't talking to the person that was playing the game but they still all fell in love with her so i think she has to go into a tier in fifth place it's karen jones there's actually a moment in red dead redemption 2 where john tries to get with karen kind of crazy but karen seduced i guess john in that way you know bill wanted her Micah probably wanted her. Sean wanted her. She literally goes out for two seconds and she gets a man to want her in Valentine. She also plays this woman. I feel like a lot of people really like Karen and she just does have that Riz. Like she really can play it up. She's a great actor in her own way. Like she goes to Valentine and when they rob the bank, she plays the, the woman, like the sad woman. And you know, it works. So I feel like Karen definitely has the Riz. She definitely has a solid personality and she can really play it up while she does get drunk a little bit too much. That probably works to some men's advantage. So I feel like she really has to have like top tier Riz in terms of the game, but I can't really put her any higher because she does just get drunk a little bit too much. And I feel like that kind of hampers her actual Riz ability, but she definitely gets to go into A. In fourth place, I've got Mary Beth. I feel like Mary Beth definitely had the Riz. She Riz up Kieran basically instantly. And there are some moments with Arthur that I feel like are a lot more tender. And while it was more of like a brother sister dynamic, I know some people, you know, thought it wasn't a brother sister dynamic. So I think just the fact that she did Riz up Kieran so fast and she was the one more leading it there 
shows she has to be an A tier. I just feel like she's a really like approachable and friendly person and has that like quiet raise. Like she's not doing anything to like totally seduce you like someone like Karen is, but she's still like a really nice person and really like cares about you and wants to listen to like what you're saying and whatnot. So I think she has to go into A tier. She definitely has a solid amount of riz. In third place, I've got Trelawney. Trelawney literally just rizzes for the love of the game. You see him in the camp and he's like always with the girls and he's like, oh, here's magic. I'm gonna pull a fucking rabbit out of my hat. I'm gonna pull a bird out of this book. And it's just like, bro is just rizzied for the love of the game. He, he's not even doing it because he has a wife and a family and he does stuff at home, but still he just comes to camp and he's just like this magical mystical guy that does magic to everyone and literally is just rizzing for the love of the game and that's what i love about him like he's not doing it because he actually you know wants to get with any of them he's just rizzing them because it's funny and because that's him as a character so i think he has to have s tier riz he has his own family and he's still risen people in camp and it's basically always the women in camp so i think trelawney has to go into s tier in second place, it's Mr. Javier Escuela. This guy has got riz. Like just besides the fact that he's kind of always dripped out, he always looks good, he always has some solid hygiene. This guy can fucking play the guitar. You also see him in Valentine. He's the one that's like, oh my God, Arthur, you're scaring off the women. And just in general, I feel like Javier is the guy leading the riz. And just like, I don't know, he's just such a rizzy guy. And just the fact that he plays the guitar, the guitar is always what gets him. Like the guitar is just the perfect thing. And he has a solid singing voice. And just, I feel like all plays in together. And he's also just like a nice guy in general. I mean, especially to women, but like he is a little bit creepy in his own ways. Like he does scare off Abigail and there are some like weird moments with them, but he still is like a riz guy. Like he, he just has the riz and he seems nice in most of the times. And I feel like just the fact that he plays the guitar and he's so drippy all the time, I feel like has to put him in second place at least and in S tier. In first place, it's Dutch Vanderlyn. This guy is the absolute riz goat. You know, he rizzed up Grimshaw, he rizzed up Annabelle, he rizzed up Molly O'Shea, and he was trying to rizz up Mary Beth, you know, he couldn't do it. It is a little bit of like this creepy older guy riz, but I still think Dutch is like the riz master. If you do look, Molly has a poem and it's like kind of about America, it's kind of about Dutch, and it's just like she's so heartbroken because Dutch has no actual like feelings for her anymore. And also she literally like goes and rats on the gang because of Dutch as well, and her kind of whole spiral into descent is because of Dutch. Also, this guy literally rizzed up the entire gang just because you know he talks big and does all these things and just this really like nice guy in his own way. But he started like a cult. Like the Vanderlyn gang is like a weird Dutch cult. So it's like, he literally started his own cult where they wouldn't sell him out for a ton of money that Milton offered them and to let them all go free if they just gave up Dutch. This guy rizzed up the entire gang enough where they wouldn't sell him out for any amount of money. And I think that's just crazy in its own right. So it's like, you know, while he's not just rizzing the women, he's rizzing the men and women in the gang where they won't sell him out for any amount of money because they trust in Dutch that much. So, you know, there, there's just an amount of riz that you just can't get from anyone but Dutch in this game. And while it might be creepy to some women, I mean, it definitely is creepy, you know, when he's preying on Mary Beth, who he's more like a father figure to. I mean, he definitely does have riz like that. So, I think he has to go into S tier for Riz, and it's definitely the Rizziest character in all of Red Dead Redemption 2. Thanks for making this far, and if you do want to check out some more videos, they should be popping up now, and let me know if you would change anything in the comments down below.